Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have some fun with my top 10 budget-friendly whiskeys of 2022. So I had a blast uh, earlier this week doing the original one, and uh, I know I got a little, got some comments, got some feedback from some folks saying, "Hey, Judge, your top 10 list, the original one, some of those whiskeys on there are too expensive." I think I even got a comment of like bougie or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, I respect that. So people did also even reach, they even reached out via email and they're like, Judge, can you provide some options that are under $100? So I'm back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. So this is my top 10 uh, budget-friendly whiskey list of 2022. So all 10 of these are less than $100, flat out. Cool? All right. So I'm gonna go through the price, availability, and again, the reason why I selected this whiskey. All right? Here we go. Let's dive into it. Starting number 10. So a $50 bottle. We good? Are we good with that? <laughs> a $50 bottle. One I know Cousin Nita loved, uh, especially during our live stream. $50. This is actually a rye whiskey coming from uh, one of the brands I think is just doing a fantastic job in terms of uh, producing great whiskey, being very affordable, um, and then availability-wise, you can find this whiskey all over. I mean, they're in almost like, gosh, they're like in 40-something states, so... This is the Uncle Nearest Rye. This is their newest product from Uncle Nearest. It's a rye whiskey coming in at 100 proof. Again, a $50 bottle, easily available, readily available. You typically never ever see this marked up. And um, it's honestly fantastic quality whiskey. I've shared this with Cousin Anita. I've shared it with some of my, my buddies uh, that come over and hang out. Everyone has loved this whiskey. So this is fantastic. One that I was truly surprised by. Quite delicious. Number 10. All right, come in the nine spot. I was put onto this company by my good friend down in Nashville, my buddy Greg. Um, this is, in my opinion, one of the best port finished whiskeys on the market. And for like 40 to 45 dollars, you can't even get any better than that. This whiskey is so good, it's my favorite. It's the favorite whiskey. Uh, you'll laugh with this one. My UPS driver, he loves this whiskey as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, and one of my favorites as well, Chattanooga Port Cast, 40 to $45 bottle, coming in exactly 95 proof. This is a fantastic whiskey to sip neat. It's great. It goes great with a cigar. This is like my second or third bottle of it. Um, availability is it's a little bit harder to find in some markets. Like I've seen it down south, of course, obviously, because being in Tennessee, I've seen it in some other uh, states as well. So maybe slightly harder to find, but this is definitely one, if you haven't tried it yourself, definitely worth a buy between 40 to 45 dollars all day. And typically when you do see it, again, not marked up, uh, always at that 40 to 45 dollar price point, can't get better than Chattanooga whiskey, the port cast finish. Absolutely delicious. I love that port finish. It's just, oh, just straight up phenomenal. Cool. All right, that's number nine. Coming in the eight spot. Oh, this, gave, this got an honorable mention in my last episode. I um, think this is probably the best, let's call it the best, I think, ever batch of barrel bourbon. And this is barrel batch number 33. This bottle, I think Barrel put their foot in it. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. This one here, again, like about $75 to $80 bottle, depending on where you're at. $75 to $80. This one you can easily find. You know, Barrel, they do it like, like Uncle Nears. They do a fantastic job of producing, you know, a lot of whiskey. So it's highly available. It's not allocated. You can typically walk into most stores that has like a decent bourbon selection and you can find Barrel bourbon. And it's never, ever really marked up, at least not their, their standard batches. $75 to $80. Bucks. Cast strength. This bottle was flat out amazing. Uh, check out the episode, I reviewed this one in the past as well. Truly a fantastic bottle. My favorite from Barrel, hands down. All right, number seven. So number seven, I got a twofer. What does that mean, Judge? I'm gonna show you one bottle, uh, but I didn't grab the other one, but that one is equally in my number seven spot. So it's number seven, this bottle is $50. The other bottle is about 70 to $75. This is Sagamore Double Oaked. And that's, by the way, what I'm sipping right now. Sagamore Double Oaked is flat out amazing. I think it's the by far the best double oaked rye whiskey on the market, dollar for dollar, because this is only a $50 bottle. And the other finish that belongs in the seven mark from Sagamore is the Sagamore Sherry. The Sagamore Sherry at $70 to $75, 
absolutely an amazing bottle. That's the newest product that Sagamore put out this year. Phenomenal whiskey, phenomenal sherry finish. Just straight up delicious. Cool? All right, we're at number seven. Going to number six. Oh, man. I talked about this bottle during my live stream with Cousin Nita, so just a couple weeks ago. And uh, let's just say I've I always enjoyed their whiskey before. But when I had this most recent release, especially the second time um, I had it, like after it opened up for a little bit, I fell in love with it. This is one of Cousin Anita's. I mean, she, she kept talking about it even after our live stream. Redwood Empire, the Grizzly Beast. Oh, this bottled and bond whiskey um, coming from Redwood Empire is absolutely fantastic. My good friend David Cooper, he put me onto this one. He was like, Judge, you have to try Grizzly Beast. And once I tried it, I fell in love. This bottle is just, this bottle can actually get you in trouble. To me, for this one, obviously it's, it's a uh, bottle and bond, so coming in exactly 100 proof. To me, this is a, uh, it's a, it's a bourbon where it almost tastes like it's finished, like in a wine finish, but it's not. It is just such a phenomenal experience from start to finish. Very much takes you on a roller coaster, and I love, love this bottle. Grizzly Beast is where it's at. All right, friends, five down, five to go. No asterisks today and no honorable mentions. All right, five to go. Need your help real quick. Let me know what are your favorite budget-friendly uh, whiskeys of 2022. And most importantly, hit the like button and then also drop, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Woo! That Sagamore Double Oak. Absolutely. It's just... It's stop it good. It's just so darn good. Coming in the number five spot. This bottle is now my second bottle because I enjoyed it that much. This bottle comes in about 70, about 70 bucks. Uh, comes from one of my favorite distilleries. I think they do a phenomenal job of not only producing great whiskey, but also finished whiskeys as well. And this is Starlight. This is their double oak, but this is their limited release double oak. This is the double oak, and the second oak barrel they use is the French oak. So if you like the standard Starlight double oak, you will absolutely love this one. This one here, again, uh, finished in the French oak for the, the second barrel. About $70 to $75. Absolutely one of the best French oak uh, secondary finishes out there on the market, in my opinion, hands down. Myself, Cousin Anita, we tried this ourselves at the distillery. I tried it at a couple bars as well when I was in Kentucky. That bottle is wow good. It's it's just special. Truly, truly special. Now from an availability standpoint, uh, unlike these others, availability on this one is probably a little bit harder to find. But if you do find either the regular uh, double oak and especially this French double oak, you'll definitely worthwhile. Hands down, phenomenal, great whiskey every day, all day. That's the number five spot. Ooh, we are getting into number four through one, the top four. Uh-oh. Woo! Here we go. Coming to the number four spot. Loved by many. And I mean many. Not by all, right? Because not everyone's going to love everything. But loved by many. To me, I think this was one of the best batches of last year. Actually, it was the best batch of last year, in my opinion. But truly, all their other ones were really good as well. But for me, you cannot go wrong with a bottle that Availability, you can definitely find it. Price about $75. Comes out three times per year. Elijah Craig, this is the C922. I thought the C922 by far was the best batch of 2022 from Elijah Craig. That is just a home run bottle each and every day, no matter, no matter who you're with, no matter if you're by yourself and you just need a great pour, you cannot go wrong with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Especially this one, obviously aged 12 years. Great quality whiskey, 70 to $75. You can find them. There's a lot of different store pick versions of these as well that are out there. Fantastic whiskey, day in, day out. All right, we are down to the top three. But these three might surprise you a little bit. I I'm assuming most people probably thought Elijah Craig might have been the number one or two or three, but it's not. What are, what is in the top three? Mm. All right, coming in the number three spot. Source Whiskey 
but for the most part you can find it a lot of different places about $70 ish depending on where you live obviously plus or minus a couple bucks this is a single barrel but I've had numerous single barrels and I've had the regular standard um, version of this as well always at barrel proof one of the best rye whiskeys I had in 2022 this is the Senator from Proof and Wood so Senator from Proof and Wood or Proof and Wood in general they're sourcing their whiskey primarily from MGP I will tell you the team over at Proof and Wood, they know how to pick some fantastic barrels from MGB. This is this is it. This is my second bottle of this. Absolutely amazing whiskey. Um, this too, to me, in, in many ways, it doesn't even taste like a standard straight rye whiskey. It almost tastes like a like a like a bourbon and a rye kind of mix in a way. Absolutely fantastic. About $70, $75. Whew, I was surprised with this bottle. I mean, I was surprised like times 10. This is one of my favorite bottles of last year, hands down, by far. All right, that's the number three pick. Woo! Number two and number one. So both of these, number two and number one, actually, funny enough, they actually both came from as a recommendation from some of my different patrons. So got to give a shout out to my patrons. I appreciate all the love and all the support from all of you, as well as all my subscribers as well. But this next pick, I'm telling you when I say that I was not a big fan of of this brand before I had this bottle, as well as another bottle that came from one of my other patrons. Um, this distillery, not too far from where my, my family, i.e. Cousin Nita lives, right over the line in Kentucky. This is a uh, new riff, but this is the new riff malted rye whiskey, age six years. Who shout out to my man, uh, Nick Massey. Nick was like, judge, you gotta try this bottle. To me, this changed the game for me for new riff. I was not a big, new riff fan before until i had this bottle so nick thank you very much man i really do appreciate this this bottle is absolutely just straight up phenomenal truly absolutely hands down one of the best rye whiskeys i had all year and definitely by far one of the best from a budget standpoint as well new riff the number one drum roll uh oh here we go here we go the number one whiskey of 2022 from a budget standpoint now i will say this whiskey is so good it honestly it was very very close to being in my regular top 10 the video i released a couple couple days ago and last week this one too came from one of my patrons my buddy chris bruno i had this bottle I've had other bottles from other people that also have this as well. This is a single barrel, but I've had other single barrels, you know, from other friends that have bought, you know, other versions of different single barrels. By far, $70, $75. Very, you know, easy to find from an allocation standpoint. Like New Riff, you can find it as well. And Proof and Wood also. Bare Knuckle. Aged six years, a high rye bourbon. This is a bourbon that has a kick to it. I love it because it's very much like a traditional bourbon. Has tons of caramel, leather, oak notes to it. Um, very spicy because it is a high rye. And it's like a traditional bourbon that you love that has a hell of a punch. But unlike most other bare knuckle products, which I've had in the past that I was not a big fan of, this one changed the game for me. I actually even went, went ahead and bought a back of bottle because it's just that damn special. And for like $65, you can't get any better than this. Make sure if you see any of these, you definitely grab them. And especially this bare knuckle age six years. All right, my friends, appreciate all the love and support. Like we say each and every day in this courtroom, peace, cheers, most important. Salute. Take care.